everyone, it's Nicole. Welcome back to my channel. So as you can tell by the title, this is going to be a review on this product here, which is the Philips Easy Touch um, Garment Steamer. Just had a mind blank. So the model number for this is GC488. Now, I just wanted to also touch on, this is the product behind me as well. So I have done a previous video. If it's not out, it definitely, I mean, it should be out, but if it's not, it will be coming very soon on a T-Fail garment steamer that I had previously tried and tested. And this is the new one that we did purchase. So just for reference in Australia, these retail for around $170. Now we were super lucky when we needed to purchase it. They had a, oh, what's the word? A promotion and they had a $50 cash back. So it turned out to be super, super affordable, which is so good. Um, but the statist statistics, the stats, I don't know what people say of this, just to help you understand. So it has the compact base and 80% larger filling holes. So that's to fill up the water, which is good. But you can also take the tank off, which I absolutely love. I prefer to take the tank out rather than fill it up with water. It's got a 1800 watt power outlet. It's 35 grams continuous steam. It's got five steam levels. It has the style mat, which is this. It's bacteria killing and it takes 45 seconds to start up. And then it has easy rinse management. So that's for, um, to make sure there's no like calcium buildup or anything like that, which is really, really good. So for me personally, when I look for a steamer, this back mat is actually super important. I just feel like when I'm steaming shirts, having that little like piece of material behind it, it just makes it so much easier. So if I ever need to purchase another steamer for whatever reason, I feel like it's always going to have that mat. Now, when we unbox this, it was super easy to put together. Of course, it does have instructions, but who reads instructions? Um, but yeah, it literally only took a few minutes. So when it was put together, I was like, this is super flimsy. Like I just felt like compared to the T-Fail one that we had previously, that this just felt super cheap, flimsy, and like basically it was going to fall over. Like weight difference this one is super light even like this it just feels like a lot i would say cheaper in a way than the tifa one even like this bit how it's all just plastic the tifa one was bigger and it was like metal so it just felt significantly better built in a way I would say and yeah like everything's just like super super flimsy and really light this is adjustable as well so you can make this higher and lower which I really love it does have on the back of this um, clip for the head it does have room where you can hang a um, like a coat hanger which I do really like I think that's important it doesn't have the pant hooks that the TFL one did have. So that's a little bit annoying to be honest. Um, I do wish it had that, but I guess it's not a deal breaker at all. But using this, like it does work quite well. So if you're looking for a steamer, it's probably one that I would recommend. In saying that, the only reason that we got rid of the T-Fail ones is because they kept on tripping our power and we were just over it. So if the T-Fail one didn't have that issue, then I probably would... Uh, it's hard to say if I would prefer that. Like, I do feel like the outcome is quite similar, but yeah... I, I think they do a very similar job. This one just personally feels a lot lighter, a lot cheaper, which is not a bad thing. Like this is really light and easy to use. Um, where the 
the TFL one was a lot heavier. Now it does have like a brush head as well so you can really get into the fabric if you need to like clean it. I never use that so I literally throw them away. I just, yeah personally it's not something that I'm ever going to use. But yeah, if you have this, let me know your thoughts and if you would purchase this again or what your steamer is that you're currently using, if you would recommend it or not. Um, but yeah, I hope you found this helpful. Thank you guys so, so much for watching and I will see you in my next video very soon. Thanks again. Bye.